Hi guys, thanks for watching another MTM video. Today we're going to be talking about and testing your coolant thermostat. So, if you want to learn a little bit more about these, stick around. So this is your coolant thermostat. This sits in line with your coolant system and they come in a variety of different shapes and sizes but the principle stays the same throughout. There's a plunger and when it reaches a certain temperature it'll act against the springs and then that'll open up the valve allowing coolant to flow through it. These plungers are actually designed to open at a very specific temperature. In this case it's 82 degrees centigrade but depending on what thermostat you have this could be different for you. So your temperature will be printed somewhere on the housing of the thermostat. So keep that in mind when carrying out this test. So your thermostat has two jobs, to allow flow to the engine and to restrict flow to the engine. So when the engine is cold, it'll restrict flow because it doesn't want to cool it down anymore. It just wants the engine to heat up as quickly as it can. And then when it does heat up and it hits a certain temperature, which is above its operating temperature, it will allow flow to go through and cool your engine down. So this repeats itself constantly, opens and closes, just to keep it at that temperature. So when it fails and it sticks in a certain position, say sticks shut, then that's when you can get overheating problems and that's the problem our customers are having. But we need to eliminate this one little thing first and there's a simple test that we can do to see if it does open at a certain temperature. So you want to get a container and fill it with boiling water. You want to make sure that the water is hotter than the temperature that's printed on the thermostat. And then once you place it in, you can make sure that it opens and operates like normal. You can see this one's fine. Okay, so that is how we go about testing our thermostat. Um, it's a very easy test to do, very simple. All you need is a little pot of water, kettle, just to make sure that you can get it up to temperature and just make sure, just watch it to make sure that it opens. So this works fine. It's opening and closing as it should be. So I'm happy with it. I'm gonna fit this back to the car. Um, my problem is probably elsewhere in that cooling system, so I've got more diagnosing to do. But so that means just more videos to come, guys. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it if you leave a comment. Thank you very much, guys, and see you on the next one.